Hello, my non-human biologicals. Happy New Year. Uh, circuit vlog! So, last we left off, I made uh, a schematic in KiCad. I made a bunch of schematics, actually. It's a bunch of presets for Eurorack circuits and, and um, the data sheet schematic of a SSM2164. Uh, today, I'm going to gather examples of... There are circuits people do with those things that linearize the control voltage. I'm going to gather the differentest examples I can find of that online and see which one um, performs the best, performs most accurate. And I'm not going to get too swamped in that because I suspect it's probably not a big deal which version you use. Uh, and then I'm also going to try to make a schematic for the THAT chip, the THAT was it 2180, 2081, 2180, something like that. The THA, well, I forget what the number is. Yeah, so here we go. I'm going to read up on linearization again. Let's go. Happy New Year. Ah! Okay, so, uh, did a bunch of research. Uh, this might be the most research, <laughs> the most over-researched circuit that I've ever done. Uh, I'm used to kind of half-winging it as we go and figuring out problems as they arise. And uh, the more I learn about these VCA chips, the simpler they are. So I probably didn't need to do this much reading to get one of these working. But here we are. Uh, but it's okay, you know, this is, we were, I have a good sense of what is best now, and if this is going to be a general purpose VCA thing, that's a good place to start, so whatever. Uh, like I said, fewer variations in the feedback loop than I thought, so I'm basically going to copy uh, Gilet's uh, Mutable Veils feedback loop onto my KiCad schematic. And we're going to try that one, uh, because that one is basically like everybody else's. Um, it's just like the Mike Irwin article. Uh, but there's just a, one little attenuator in the feedback loop that will, uh, you know, dial it in some curve between linear on one extreme and exponential on the other. So uh, we'll do that. <laughs> yeah. And then I think that that will also work for the THAT chip. But um, I couldn't find any examples at all online of people um, linearizing that one. I've heard, I got a couple of like forums where people talk about it, but I couldn't find any schematics where somebody actually did it. So I'm gonna try to do the same feedback loop and see if that works for that chip. It should, I think. I don't know. Uh, I haven't, I don't know a reason why it won't work. So we're gonna try. Um, yep. All right. Here we go. KiCad time. Wow. What's up? It's Tuesday now. Two minutes ago, it was Monday. I was wearing a different shirt, but now it's Tuesday. Uh, and I didn't finish the KiCad uh, schematic. I just pulled it up. I'm going to finish it now. A friend of mine called me. He was like, hey, I want to talk to you about how I'm getting married soon. Selfish. Anyway, I'm going to finish this KiCad thing. Congrats, Fraser. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, so one of the crucial things that I want to try is right here. Um, 
on most schematics that I could find online, that resistor does not exist. This is just purely an integrator, this op amp, I mean. Uh, which, by the way, this is like the feedback loop that I keep mentioning that is linearizing the control voltage of this is our actual gain stage up here. So normally, this is just an integrator. So you put your control voltage in here, it gets integrated, and then you get this, uh, this pot here is like basically how much of that integrated loopy thing uh, makes it through to the uh, control voltage pin over there. So that will linearize or exponentialize your bad boy. But I'm thinking if I can put a little feedback resistor in this integrator thing, that will increase the gain of this bad boy. And then perhaps if this pod is now maxed out, we will actually have a logarithmic curve. And then, you know, just like on maths where you get log, linear, and exponential. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work, though. <laughs> We're going to try it. I don't know. Integrators confuse me, man. Let's just uh, trigonometry. Get out of here. You know what I mean? Cosine. Please. We're going to try it. We'll see. Anyway, the schematic's done. Zoom out. Look at it. Woo! It's done. Everything's nice and clean, except for that little bit. Okay, that's about all I have time for today. Save. Um, I gotta go teach some lessons. So, uh, you know, next week I'll probably do the same thing for the THAT chip. We'll get another schematic going. Uh, it's been a minute since I looked at it, but I think it's basically identical. So we might even be able to skip that. Um, the circuits are basically identical on the data sheets, what I mean. Uh, but we're gonna look up, we're gonna look into it anyway, because those things are expensive and I don't want to blow those chips up. But anyway, do me a favor, like and subscribe to the YouTube algorithm, YouTubes, do it. Uh, and I, uh, I'm gonna, I quit. I'll see you next time. Happy New Year, baby.